with any database when I'm running queries, I might have a simple query which accesses one table, but more often than not, I'll have more than one table involved in a single query. And to do so, we just use the typical join conditions. It might be the old style Oracle sort of form, which I'm more familiar with, or you might be using ANSI style syntax for the joins. But joins are commonplace in any relational database. For new developers, it then comes across as a little bit odd that when you get into things like an update statement or a delete statement, then you can't join. Or there are certain particular scenarios where you can update a join directly, but in terms of an update statement referencing join conditions, it doesn't seem to be allowed, which is odd because obviously we are taught that you know, when you're dealing with a relational database, joins are part and parcel of dealing with the data. So in 23C, we've tried to address that. Let's explore an example. So I'll start with my table called emp, and you can see it's just a copy of scott.emp, and I want to do an update on it. And the update I want to do is I want to change the salary for people who are in the sales department or work out of Dallas. Now, the problem is those attributes aren't on the employee table. In fact, if I query the department table, you can see it's actually the D name and location that are relevant here. That's what I want to actually use to actually do my query. Now, in releases prior to 23C, we do that with a subquery. So I would then update my employee table and I would change my salary. But to access the fields in the department table, I would have to do a subquery. So I do where department number in, go select the department number from department, where it equals sales or the location equals Dallas. And my update runs just fine. But as I said, it seems a bit weird that when I'm doing selects, I would normally use joins. But now when I come to an update, I'm told, no, you have to do a subquery because that's the only option you have at your disposal. But my update has been done and I chose a salary of 0.05 because it makes it very easy to see which of the 14 rows there have had 0.5 or 50 cents added to the salary. We can see we touched about, I think, 11 of the 14 rows. Let's roll that back and see how we can improve upon that in 23C. I start with a familiar update amp and I'm set on the salary, but then I can immediately make reference to other tables via a typical from clause with a join. So in this case, I go from the department table and then I add my join condition. So in the same way that a join tables would appear from the from clause onwards, we do the same thing when it comes to an update statement. It becomes much more intuitive because the same kind of syntax and flow from a select statement now moves straight into an update statement. I simply include the standard conditions, my join condition, plus the sales and Dallas conditions from the department table, and my update's done. And you can see I actually update the same amount of rows. The same 11 rows had their extra 0.5 of a dollar. Not a great amount of a salary increase, but had their same amount of increase with a now an update that includes a join as opposed to requiring a subquery. So that gives a nice uh, common syntactical method across all the DMLs from select all the way through to insert, update, and delete as well.